Ciao, benvenuti tutti. Ciao, welcome everyone. It is Sunday, it is Palm Sunday, so we are celebrating with pizza. Yes, pizza. So I hope you're all having a fabulous day. It's gorgeous outside. Now, a little just disclaimer. This is my first time doing the pizza. <laughs> Hi, Kelly, of course. All the chefs are coming on today. This is my first time. Hi, Heather. This is my first time doing pizza dough, shaping it. So as you see, I'm already covered in flour. I have the dough. I made it last night. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Heather. Hi, Kelster. Thanks for coming in today and watching Pizza Day. I'm doing two or three different kinds. I'm going to do a keto pizza with cauliflower and mozzarella and egg. It's a crust. Kelly's laughing at me. I made the dough last night because they said to rest it in the refrigerator. Hi, Mo, overnight or rest it for three or four hours. But since I, I figured I'd take the time last night to do it, and it was a Roberta's, which is a famous place in Brooklyn. It was their recipe for the dough. It had like 5,000 million star reviews. So it was about a cup and a cup and a tablespoon of double O flour, which I had, a cup and two tablespoons of regular, just regular white flour. Um, I had three fourths of a teaspoon of yeast, water, some salt, and some olive oil. Put it all together. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Kim. Hi, Pete and Carla. Hi, loves. You're going to watch me. Um, on my first foray, except back in the day, do you remember those Chef Boyardee boxes that you put together when we were about 10? That's probably the last time I've made a pizza dough. Because I cook a lot of things and I cooked for a long time, but doughs, uh, a dough is not something I did a lot of. If I wanted pizza, I was going in Brooklyn to Defada or here we're going to Nicolosi's. I wasn't gonna try to make it, but I'm gonna try to do it because we have so much yeast, so much flour. Hi, Louis, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us today, it's pizza day. So I have my two doughs. Okay, lovies, this is what they look like. <laughs> there they are. So I made them last night and then I let them rest in the fridge. So, and now I'm gonna shape them. So here they are. They've been at room temperature for about 45 minutes. They were overnight. This is the dough. I have two nice balls. So I'm gonna try it out. I've spent the evening when I can't sleep watching how to shape <laughs> dough. You have a weak connection. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I know sometimes the internet's crazy. So what I've done, I have a lot of different toppings today, loveys. I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna put some mushrooms. It was shocking, I know. I have some bacon and potato. I'm gonna put that on one of them, bacon and potato. Ciao, Stefano, ciao, chef. Do, do not watch me try to do this pizza dough. I'm already nervous as it is. I watched a million videos, but as they said, the, the key to dough, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? You practice. This is what it takes, practice. My first time doing it. I have my wonderful wooden board here with white double O flour. I have the double O flour on the board. So what I've been told is to sort of start it this way. Do you see what I'm doing with my hands? Anybody can tutorial me along as we go because I'm going to do one on a round pan. And now they say what's great if you have a pizza stone, lovies. I don't have a pizza stone. I did. It broke years ago. I didn't get a new one. Grazie, grazie maestro Stefano, because you're the maestro <laughs> and mama making your things. So what I'm going to do, I'm shaping it out, loves. Now it's, you're not going to see some cuckoo throwing it up in the air. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Not today. Not today. So I'm just trying to do this, not have it stick, move it out. That's what I've been told. That's what I've been told. If people know, you tell me as I go, sweethearts. I didn't make a red sauce. I didn't make, I had a nice tomato basil organic sauce in a can. Yes, I know. But I have to use it up. And I thought I have been cooking all morning and teaching. So I had to do something <laughs> that was easy. So I'm just putting this out. I'm going to do one of them in a cast iron pan. I've had my oven preheating to about 550 for an hour. Perfect Napoli style. I don't know about this, chef. I'm trying. It's, I'm trying, it's terrifying trying to do this live, right? So I watch some people, I know they go like this, they have this whole thing, do not laugh at me, because mine starts to look like an amoeba. It doesn't look round, it, you know, mine is not gonna be the perfect round pie, but I'll get there, it just takes a lot of practice, they say. So, and I don't wanna make any holes. So if you guys have any ideas, <laughs> let me know, because I'm just shaping these out. One I'm gonna put on here, just a regular, very thin pizza round pan. So why don't I put it on there now, lovies? I have a little olive oil on it. 
I'm just gonna shape it out, try to get it as far out as I can. That's what scares me. <laughs> so I have this one. Thanks, grazie mamma. Mama Lamberti's in the house. She just grated all this grana padano for the pizza. I think I'm good, mama. Okay. Thanks, mama. Rogan remembers your dad making pizza. Yes, my yes. father loved to make oh, pizzas. Yes, love it. And we actually had these crusts that we actually bought, these really thin dollar crusts. Store. They were actually from the dollar store. And they're wonderful. Hi, Michael. How are you, Sway? Hi, Ava. How are you? Once this mess is over, you can come and Bob can teach you. Oh, good, oh, Heather. Good. Yes. Yeah, some people are experts at pizza. I think it's just a practice and taking time. And I would love to do it on the grill, too. But we're going to try it out, loves. We're going to get this. We're going to get it. I just thought we'd have fun today. I've always wanted to make it. I have a ton of yeast in the house. Then I'm going to try this dough. Here's the keto dough. Talk about terrifying. Hi, Michelle. Miss Michelle's in the house. Hi, Janos. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome to pizza day in the house. So we're just going to get this out. Tell me if this is right, Kelster, because I don't know. It's terrifying. <laughs> At least the crust will be thin, right, loves? It'll be thin. It'll be thin. <laughs> It'll be thin. <laughs> so... We're just gonna have fun. You have to try it out. Try it out once. You know, I'm not flipping it up in the air. I think for first time, it's better just to do it right on the board that you're gonna cook it on and do it like this. So it creates a little bit of a lip here. So take it to the side. You see this, loveys? There, we're getting there. In the house. Thanks, Michelle, dear heart. My dear friend Michelle's online today. Here we go. Everybody's in the house on Sunday. It's very thin at the sides, guys. I mean, this is going to be cuckoo thin. It's going to be cuckoo thin. Is it looking okay, Kel? Because I know you've made these a lot. I know it's a little thick on the side here. I'm not great at it, and I didn't want to use the rolling pin. We're getting there, buggies. We're getting there. Terrifying. Then I'm going to put it... I mean, I'd rather sing in front of a million people than make the pizza in front of you. Good thought. It isn't shrinking back. Okay, because I know when it shrinks back, then you're in a little bit of trouble. That's what I've read. And I watched a million YouTube videos on it. Some of these guys are amazing at it. So I know that this side has a little bit of thickness here. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, guys, it's all right, sweethearts. It'll be fine. Do, should I prick it with a fork? Is that true? Do you prick it? You know, I'm asking you guys. You know, I can cook a lot of things. Pizza's not one of the things I usually do, sweethearts. So we're just going to get this as... I'm not going to even try to lift this off because when I do, it'll tear into a thousand pieces and then you're going to see me weep live. <laughs> no, thanks. Shrinking back. Think no. Okay, we're not going to prick it with a fork. I know this is very rustical. I mean, talk about cuckoo. I wouldn't win any medals in Naples. I'll tell you that much. So mom's laughing. It's okay. Let me go get a spoon for some sauce. A little sauce on the spoon. And I know, you, I know the people, in, in, they put it in this and they go... <clears throat> So we're just going to take a little bit here, loveys, a little bit of sauce. Now, I would have made the sauce myself, but I figured, you know, why not just use a little bit of the canned one? We have it. This one's going to be a simple one. It's just going to be a marinara, I think. I don't have any fresh basil. So let's just try it out, loveys. I don't have any fresh basil, but I do have some fresh mozzarella, so why not try it? We'll see how this works. <laughs> For my first pizza, it might be a hoot and nanny, you know, because the lives, it's going to take a few minutes. Hi, Bob and Terry. How are you, loves? Here's my pizza. <laughs> I'm not going to make, I'm not going to win any medals for this pizza today. I'm telling you, loves, but I just want to show you guys, I have to try it out. This is my whole milk mozzarella that I'm just pulling apart that I had from Aldi. Now, I love whole milk mozzarella on pizza. It's fabulous. So just tear that up, layer it all over, it's delicious. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Grana Padano on there, it'll be delicious. I know my favorite pizza place in Brooklyn is Defada. It's worth waiting two hours in line. Believe me, it's worth the $5 a slice. I know, shocking, five a slice, yes. For me, it's worth it. And I had a bite of the white pie once that just sent me over the edge. But sometimes you wait two hours just for a slice. Hi, Matthew, sweetheart, hi, Christy, how are you, loves? So here we are, we're doing this beautiful, just this is the marinara, this is the beautiful pie, just with the fresh mozzarella. How's that looking, is that okay, loves? Is it like the Chef Boyardee back in the day? <laughs> right? So that's gonna be that pie, sweet peas. We're gonna try that out. Oh, why not just put more cheese on it? Because the other one I'm using other mozzarella with. Do you want any flavorings, Chris? No flavorings, no, I'm just gonna no leave herbs. it. Okay. 
No herbs. I have a little, the sauce is herby enough. And I'm going to put a little bit of Grana Padano on top, love, just because that's what we do. Looks delicious. Okay, sweetheart, I'm trying. We're going to put this in now. When this is all over, we need to get the mozzarella cured, curd at the depot and make our own. Yes. Kelly's a fabulous chef and he belongs to Restaurant Depot. That's where I got my fabulous Grana Padano. If you're lucky enough to know someone, get in there. Then you get the curd and we can make our own mozzarella, which I've always wanted to make my own. That's my dream of making my own. So we're gonna put this in buggies, okay? My oven has been on at 500, 550 for about an hour. <laughs> I'll be paying the electric bill this month. Um, <laughs> Mom's laughing. It's Mom's propane, laughing. Honey. Oh, it's propane. Sorry. <laughs> I'll pay that. Uh, it went from $12 to 1200 with the lives. And so, hi, Anna. Hi, loveys. Welcome to the Dining with the Diva. Okay, loveys. Now, let's do our other one. We have our other one here. I'm going to start this one. <laughs> um, let's see how this works. I'm going to knead it a little bit first. I want to knead it just to get it, the well, sort of gluten's going. And this is the one I'm going to do with... Um, sorry, I thought I heard some cats arguing. We have a couple cats. <laughs> I thought I heard it. We've got four. We have four, sorry. <laughs> yes. How are you doing, love? Today? I'm in a laugh mood today. <laughs> the sun is out. I already took my five-mile walk. Dollops of ricotta. Yes, that's what I'm going to do, Boogie. I'm going to do some ricotta on the pizza. I have whole milk ricotta, bacon, and some beautiful sliced potatoes that I've lightly fried already. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start this dough now. And this is the one, loveys, that I'm going to do in the cast iron skillet. Heather says, hi, Annie P. Hi, sweetheart. Mama says, hello, loves. Everybody's online today. Here's the dough. Here we go, sweethearts. <laughs> now we're starting again. We're starting again. Then I'll put this in the cast iron skillet. I need a little bit more a little more flour. It's all right, sweethearts. You need flour? I think I'm okay, Mama. I have it right here. Oh, okay. So, what have you guys been up to? Sorry as I lean, sweethearts. And then, a little more double O flour. Just keep doing this, loveys. We'll get there. Then we'll see what the other one's going to look like. <laughs> Nothing like doing this for the first time on live TV. Hi, Roy. How are you, loves? We're going to get there, sweethearts. We're getting there. I just need a tutorial in pizza. I need Kelly or Chef Abe, who works at Stoke, who has that fabulous pizza, to give me a, a pizza tutorial, because mine always end up looking like, I don't know, they're not round. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But I don't want to use a rolling pin. I'd rather do it by hand, so I've been told. So, you know, sort of do it like this. I've seen them do it when it's very thin like that, but bear with me, we're getting there, lovies. We are getting there. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. I thought I'd use some things up that were in the fridge. I, had, I saw a great recipe for potato and bacon. I thought, oh, that's nice. I have potatoes. I have some leftover. I have some bacon I have, that I would just fry up. I have some whole milk ricotta and mushrooms. Hi, Jennifer. How are you, sweetheart? We're doing our pizza Sunday. It's like the old school days when we had the Chef Boyardee pizza packets. Do you remember those? Oh, my God, what a hoot. So I'm going to start to put this, loveys in my cast iron skillet because I wanted to try one in a cast iron skillet. I've already oiled it. Now it would have been fun to actually put it in the, um, in the, um, into the oven and to see what would have happened if I would have gotten the pan really hot. But unfortunately I knew I wanted to shape it in so I would have been burning myself off. So I thought I'd do it like this. I've always wanted to do a cast iron sort of skillet pizza just for the heck of it. See if we can get this done in here, lovies. So I'm gonna try that. Thought that might be fun. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of a Detroit style pizza. Maybe my cousin Heather who lives in Michigan has heard of it. Um, it's like a square pizza. It's very thick actually and it's with brick cheese. If you know what brick cheese is, not easy to find around here. It's a mild white cheese and I know if you can't find brick it's like you have to use a combo of cheddar and of Monterey Jack. But what they do is they, I watched a tutorial, they have the dough in a, in a square pan with high sides. They oil the bottom. Yes, you've heard of it, Heather. They put the dough in, then they put pepperoni on the bottom, then tons of cheese that's chunked, then the sauce on top. And there's actually a Detroit-style a Detroit pizza 
Rhea in New York, I've seen. I've never been to it, but I've seen it. And it's sort of square slices that are really crispy on the edges. So this is working pretty well, loves. Look at this. Nice dough in our cast iron skillet. Boom, boom, boom. So what should we put on this one, loveys? Should I put some ricotta on here? Some beautiful ricotta on the bottom for the hex and giggles of it. There, yeah, I know mom's laughing at me. The hex and giggles for Hex and giggles. I mean, it's one of those days, loves. You know, I sleep maybe three hours a night. This is what happens. That's what happens now. So we're just going to put some ricotta on the bottom. What the heck, right, loveys? We're making a little bit of a white pie. I thought that would be fun. Why, am I doing this right, Cal? You guys better tell me. You better not be laughing. I know you're laughing at home. Are you laughing? You're laughing. I have this idea, guys. Tell me what you think. I'm going to send in some of these tapes to QVC. Maybe they'll hire me as a host. What do you think? Do you watch the channel? We don't. We don't have a television. But I know back in the day I used to watch it because I love all that stuff. So I thought, you know, I could do, send it in, do the cooking, do makeup, since that's, I love that too. Sing a little opera on there. Do you remember Mike Rowe, the guy who does the dirty jobs? He's an opera singer. That was his first job. Dirty job. And, and he was an opera singer. And then he went to QVC and now he's doing his uh, dirty job show. You know the one. So here we go, loves. Putting some ricotta down. Fabulous ricotta. Now what I'm going to do, what do you think next? Some shrooms. Should I put the mushrooms with the potatoes? Should I do that? Yes. Why not? Yeah. Hi, Mike Real. How are you? Hi, Anna Maria. How are you, sweethearts? Thanks for coming in today. I'm going to put some mozzarella on as well, sweethearts. Some beautiful mozz. Why not? It's a white pizza. I'm going to put a few potatoes and some bacon on top because that's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing. And I have one little piece of... Check your pizza. Yeah, I know because it's probably burned now. by now. No, it's looking not bad. Not bad. It needs more time. Okay. Needs more time, sweethearts. Hi, Ava. Yes. I've been telling you that for years, QVC queen. <laughs> That's my friend, Michelle. <laughs> Fabulous opera singer and pal, my friend, Michelle, to pet. So I have some beautiful potato slices here, sweethearts, that I've just, you're supposed to steam them, but because I don't have a microwave, I just lightly sauteed them, okay? But potato on pizza is delicious. I know I had a great potato pizza in Rome. Rome. One of the pizza rustica that they make. It's the square pizza that they're famous for. It is delicious. And I'm going to put up some beautiful bacon. It would be great also to have some sausage. Sausage and mushroom is what I wanted to do. But I didn't have any sausage left, sweet peas. So I'm doing this one. Look at this. It's going to be fantabulous here. Whatever you have in your house, it's been noted. That's right, Miss Michelle. What do you, whatever you guys have in the house, loveys. There, look, boom, look, there it is. We're just gonna put a little more cheese on top. I also have, you know what? I'm the keto one. The keto one, I'm gonna put on, uh, I have prosciutto here. I have some beautiful prosciutto. So when we try to make this keto crust, I'm gonna do it with mushroom and prosciutto. There we go. Look at that, sweethearts. And then a dusting, I know my hands, I know, it's all right. Corn can make a great topping. Oh yes, corn is great as well. There is a great pizza that I had in Ischia, the island off of Naples near Capri. That was a corn and ricotta or burrata one. It was ridiculous. It was the best pizza I ever had. That's some of the best pizza I've ever had is in, in Ischia. Here it is, loveys. Here's our pretty fabulous pizza. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a pizza stone, this is a pizza peel. I have a peel, but nothing to use it for. So what you do is you throw some semolina flour, some cornmeal on here, shape your dough on this, and then once you stick it in, whoosh, it'll slide right into the oven if you have a peel. But since I don't have a peel, I don't need to use it today. Uh, and now, what? You said you don't have a peel. Do you have a peel? I have a peel, you sorry. Have a I don't have a stone. <laughs> I need more coffee. Guess what? I ran out of coffee today. SOS. No coffee in the house. Have to figure out how to get it without going out in a hazmat suit. So, we'll figure it out. Now, buggies, here is the keto. I know the fan went on in the back because I have the oven so darn high. This is the keto crust. It's cauliflower that I steamed whole. Then I drained it. I put it in the food processor and I squeezed it out so incredibly there's no water left in it. 
a quarter or half a cup of mozzarella and one egg, and then I also put in um, some um, a little bit of almond flour. Hi, Malcolm. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome to my DWTD today. We're making pizzas. First time making pizzas. God, guys. Terrifying. So, this is the keto crust. Keto crust. So, we just do this with our hands, and then we put it on um, a cookie sheet with parchment or a silpat, which is what I have right here behind me, loveys. So I'm gonna show you guys, and I pray it works. <laughs> we pray it works. Um, because I've never done this one before. I've done one where you melt. Uh, hi, D, hi, Malcolm. Hello, Maestro, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us on our live Dining with the Diva today, making pizza. I have one in the oven. I have a keto crust that's working on now. So I think it'll work. We're just gonna pray it's gonna work. Let me look into the oven, sweet peas, because I think that one might be close. We're gonna check it out, loves. I have my pizza glove. Here we go, glove. We're going in. Oh, yes, oh yes. Oh yeah, that's nice. How's that looking? How's it looking? Deem me. How's that? That looks pretty nice, considering it's my first pizza. Non c'è male. How is it, lovies? Not bad. Now, in, in with the other one. We just put it in. Boom. How's that, loves? That looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. We're just going to put a little more grana padano and a little oil. Bellissimo. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. If Kelly says so and Maestro Malcolm says oh, so, listen. it is so. That's it. Oh, it looks good. You put a little of that at the end. Va bene. Perfect, Ava says. Looking good, Pete. Nice. Okay, loves, now we're doing the, the keto crust. This is for my friend, Nina. I don't think she's on right now, but she was talking about a keto crust. So I told her I would do it, sweetheart. So I spent a good amount of time. With the keto crust, the key is you have to bake this way before you put any toppings on. You can't put the toppings on this because it's very wet. Um, so the whole key was just getting out the moisture of the cauliflower, adding the egg. It might be a square pie. It may not be perfectly round. It's all right. I'm learning. But this we put in the oven, sweethearts, and we bake it, number one. And then when it comes out, all crusty and lovely, we put sauce and toppings on it and then put it back in. So it's a two process, two step process for the keto crust. So it's just cauliflower that I steamed very quickly or blanched a good, you know, half of a head of cauliflower. Then I drained it and I blitzed it in the food processor until it became rice sort of crumbs, put it in a clean dish towel and squeeze the life out of it. Just squeeze it till it was dry. Then put that in with some mozzarella, just the mozzarella part skim shredded that an egg and a little almond flour. You can add garlic powder, rosemary, whatever you'd like to season it. I added a little thyme because that's what I had. So that's what I'm going to do, sweethearts. So this just has to wait to go in the oven. We're going to bake that, bring it out, and then I'm going to top it and bake it again. So, whoa, that pizza looks pretty nice. It does. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I actually have a pizza cutter. I think so. There is one. Betco, there it is, the parts. Hi, Tia. How are you, love? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Look at him, a mess. Mess. I am not. This is not clean when I'm cooking. Hi, Gregory. Hi, Maestro. How are you? Welcome to Pizza Day. My first pizza ever just came out. The crust is not bad. Considering it's not on a peel that was heating for hours on end, it's a stone. <laughs> Mom likes to remind me. So I'm going to take this out like this, Boos. Look, and I'm sticking it like that. We're going to try it, babes. I think it could have gone a little crispier, but let's just see. I mean, this is my first try, loves, you know. My first try into pizza land. First foray. It, it, it seems pretty crusty. I mean, it's not defada, loves. It's not, it's not defada pizza, which would be nice. I'm just doing a little, just a little drizzle of oil on top. Why not? 
boom, boom, boom. There it is, lovies. Delicious. I know, I love pizza. This is the first one I've had in three weeks. <laughs> Since this all started. Now it's not as crunchy as it, as it should be. It's just not. I know it should get be a better crust. I know that. Because I can tell, you know, that it could be better on the bottom. So maybe it could have gone longer. And if I had uh, a pizza stone, the stone would have been so hot that when I put it in the stone, it would have it would have gotten really good because I think when you just do it on a pizza pan, a little different, a little different. So, you know, we're gonna have mom try it. Mom likes pizza. I'll give her a crust section. I'll tell you. I mean, the bottom is not as, as, as dark as I'd like it. Oh. It's not as dark as I'd like it. How low is your oven rack in the oven? Oh, is that the key, Kel? Oh. Now he's telling me. No, I'm kidding. Well, cookies are the middle rack. So Cook, sorry, it was in the middle rack. Am I in trouble? Very good. Mama says it's very good. It could have been longer. But it could have been longer. But we can actually put it in longer. We could, yeah. So right. you know what, guys? That's what fabulousness is. When you have a pizza, you can put it in longer. Yeah, a little bit longer. And I actually like pizza just on the rack. I'm not, I, I would prefer it yeah. just like right on the rack. Hi, Annie Lynn. Put it closer to the bottom. Okay, okay Kelster. Okay. Thank you. you got it. That one's going on the bottom. Okay. Then I'll, so I have two racks. Well, that's on the bottom it's now. It's good though. It's good though. It's I'm good. trying it. Okay, it's good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's fantastic. Who is it? Mr. Crick. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Sorry, my mom's phone was ringing. It's going to get better when I crisp it up more. It just needs a little bit more time and crispier on the bottom, like Kelly said. But it's a delicious crust, and the cheese is lovely. It's lovely. That part's really nice. I just need a tutorial. I just need a tutorial on the pizza. And it's all about practice. Practice, practice, practice makes it perfect. So, there it is, sweethearts. Are you guys making pizza? I'll put the pizza dough recipe on. Closer to the bottom will go faster, especially at 550. Okay, Kelster. You got it. As you know, if you have a fabulous pizza oven, they're around 900 degrees. And they cook in about three minutes, those pizzas. And they bubble up and they're black and charcoal-y. That's, that's it. You like the thin crust? It is very thin, Maestro. It is incredibly thin. This is cuckoo thin. Very thin. They also have pizza screens. They're open and help with crispiness if you don't have a stone. Okay. Good to know, because this is my first time, lovies. You know, I just researched all this and do it for you guys. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to make it. I thought it would have been fun. Hi, Brianna. Thanks for watching, sweetheart. Dr. Large is outside working in the yard because it's so gorgeous out today. It's fabuloso. So figure, why not? So this pizza, it's very thin. It's lovely crust. You know, I think it could just have a little more, I think I need to learn how to to uh, shape it better and have it on the bottom rack, as Kelster said. That's a great, great, great idea. Fabulous. Good to know. I also would love to do it on the grill. Hi, Brianna. How are you, love? Brianna is one of my fabulous voice students. Um, thanks for joining us today, love. Yes, yeah, so there's the pizza, sweetheart. I have one in the, um, in the, <laughs> the cast iron pan it's one of those days you know the days it's in the cast iron pan i have the keto one but i have to wait since i don't have three ovens in the house i have to wait till those are out and then put that in but i swear i'm going to have pictures for all of you of all the pizzas coming out and tell you which one is the best do you love how i just have this sitting here sitting here tantalizing you isn't it great well it's a little bit you know flimsy but it's delicious, and you know, the New Yorkers, we, we fold it in half. But, mmm, oh yeah. It's the whole milk mozzarella that makes it, loveys. That makes it. That beautiful whole milk mozzarella just with some sauce, that makes it, and it's fantastic. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I think the other one's gonna be great, and I'll swoosh out, and hold on. I know you wanna see the, the bacon and potato one but I don't think it's been in there long enough. And now the other one's on the bottom, so we'll see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks more like it, Kel. There, boom. Is that better, lovies? Boom. Hi. 
So that was better, sweethearts. That's the key. Bottom, bottom, thank you, Kelly. Bottom of the rack, 550. Boom. So there's that one. And I now moved, I now moved that one to the bottom rack. Well, that's but that I'm was glad. definitely the key. See, it's much more charred and beautiful. Is, is and and the crust, and, uh, yeah, the crust is much better, loves. It's much darker, and that didn't take long. Hi, Randy. How are you? Hi, Giuseppe. How are you, sweetheart? Come inside. That's much better. That's the key. So, as I've said, the key to the pizza is practice, 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 like we do in opera and everything else we do in life. So I just have to practice more, like it is with bread and every sort of dough type of art. <laughs> but, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Because I have a lot of flour and I have a lot of yeast. So, why not? And it's lovely to have a pizza. I haven't had one in so long. <laughs> and it was nice to make it ourselves, so it's lovely to know if you have the ingredients, boom, you can throw it together. Um, and if you want to do it the day of, just start it in the morning and let the dough rest uh, with a moist um, covered towel. I'm late again. I love pizza. What brand sauce? Oh, it's a very simple, oh, it's all these sweetheart. Cause I didn't make the sauce. I actually had a beautiful can of the beautiful, um, beautiful tomatoes that I use, but it's a huge can. And that means I would have had to use it for something else. So therefore I figured I had this in the pantry and it's just a tomato basil pasta sauce. I would prefer just to use the tomatoes, but I have this, it's organic. It's lovely. It tastes delicious, it's a little bit spicier. So why not? If you have it, put it on there, lovey, so you don't have to, um, I didn't want to have a whole massive can, you know, of 20 or I think it's more like 60 ounces of tomatoes and then have to make everything for it because my refrigerator is, I, I'm cleaning it out and we're going through it all, but you know how it is when you've done 28 lives. We have uh, a lot of food, but we're sharing it with people and it's going out and all the cookies are actually, I've shared them with Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl Burker, for bringing me fish. She left me some fresh fish, which is fabulous because I would dine for fish. So we're all exchanging and leaving things on people's porches. That's what we do. <laughs> so, okay, loveys. There's that beautiful pizza. I think it's not too bad for the first go around. And I'll show you what the um, keto pizza is going to turn out like because I'm just going to take a little more time because I have to wait and put it in the oven and see if that crisps up. And then I'm gonna to top it with some mushrooms and prosciutto and some cheese and it's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna have a pizza party here. So my loves, thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate it. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my, my channel, please do, Dining with the Diva. I'll leave the link below and on my Facebook page. We're up to 135 subscribers. We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm going, I'm going for 250. Hi, Janelle Morris. Janelle Morris, I know you're fabulous and you own that fabulous pizza place in Nazareth, so you know all about pizza. <laughs> um, about the coffee crisis, do you have a Keurig machine or do you use regular ground coffee? I do have a Keurig, but I haven't set it up. Uh, it's not, well, I have one and then I have another one. But the thing is, is maybe just, re I use also a French press and sometimes I use instant because I do like instant Bustello. I actually love it. And in the morning, sometimes I like to come down Put it in, put the hot water on, and bang, it's all fabulous. So I can only get the instant Bustello one place. So I'm gonna have to just suit up and go get it. So hi, John Lamb. Love you, Annie Lynn. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. We're checking, Mama's checking. She's getting worried. It's, it's fine, it's just because I think it's, it's all, it should be close, but oh, oh. oh. Okay, yeah, wait, wait, go wait, guys. Wait. Prepare, prepare yourselves. Be careful, it's happening. I am. Prepare yourselves, here. loves. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Boom. Oh, my goodness. Boogies, look at this. Oh, 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 there it is. This is the cast iron pizza. Hi, Miss Molly. Ooh. How are you, sweetie? Here's the cast iron pizza, that sweetheart. Good. Bubbly and beautiful out of the oven. Looks fantastic. Great. I'm getting another glove. Here, loveys, because I want to show you close up. Yeah, I know. Very hot. <laughs> Boom. That was fabulous. Sorry, of course, it has a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Believe me, I've worked in places that have holes and have three degree burns from them. Here we are. Boom. We love you. Thank you. Look at that cast iron pizza. Look at this, loveys. Woohoo! Fabulous. I'm going to see this crust right now. Hopefully, it didn't stick. And if it did, it's okay. We'll get it off. We will get it off. 
but I just want to see because I think it's very crusty because of the olive oil. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. It could go a little longer okay. actually. All right. It may put it in just for a little bit longer on the bottom, loves. Just for the heck of it. Beautiful. That's going to be fabuloso. Feel like the. That's right, sweetheart. You got it. So, lovies, grazie mille. Thanks for joining us today. That was so much fun. A domani, I don't know. Io non lo so. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I don't know. We could do Rice crispy treats again with Rice Krispies that are colored for Easter. Because I'm running out of stuff. I have to figure it out. You just, I know, Miss Molly, I saw your Dutch baby in your cast iron skillet. Maybe you'll send me the recipe and I'll make a Dutch baby live. Because I've always wanted to make a Dutch baby pancake with sugar and lemon on it. Woo! That looked amazing, boo. Let me know how you made that. I've always wanted to make one of those Dutch baby pancakes in a cast iron skillet. It puffs up. It's fantastic. So, lovies, thank you for my, thank you for joining me on the pizza day. Pizza day. There it is. There it is, loves. There's our beautiful marinara pizza. Came out much better. The cast iron one's going to be great. The keto one, I will take a picture of once it's finished. I just have to get that in the oven. Crisp that up. Yes, thank you. You'll message me. Thank you, sweethearts. So thank you so much for joining us today. I so appreciate uh, you being with me. Um, I have to go because I have to teach a voice lesson in 20 minutes. So I just want to send you all my love and thank you for joining me on this pizza Sunday. It was so much fun. It was a hoot, a hoot nanny. And uh, Mama Lamberti says hello. Dr. Lars is out doing all of the lawn work. He loves it. He's mowing the lawn. It's one of those beautiful days. And uh, so grazie mille tanti bacini. Stay safe, stay put, stay cooking. And I will see you domani. Domani ci vediamo domani. Chanti bacini. Ciao loves. Ciao ciao.